Ben Lister Vic, the team fights are getting very weird. Also, it's an empowered Ben, an empowered Magnus, yeah. an empowered DK in the mid game versus one Terra Blade. So, kind of scary for Spirit, but maybe it's, they can pull it off. Maybe they can pull it off. We're going to find out. Incredibly high stakes oh, for this game three. Elimination on the line. And we're going to find out is it going to be Prepare Spirit or is it going to be OG? We're heading over to Sunspan and Cinnarin. I love this part. Two legged abomination. Two -legged abomination. Looking for me. Games, another. It all comes down to this for Spirit and OG here at Dream League Season 22. Suns fan here with Cinderin. He's slouching. I'm the one sitting up for once. That's right. You're off camera uh, now, Cinderin. Damn it. They don't. You'll have to take his word for it. I actually did it for you. Huzzah! Okay, that's good. One of these teams is going home after this. Well, if they're already home, then they're staying home. Okay, that was a bad transition. Let's redo that. One of these teams is out of the tournament and after both this. Both of these teams are staying home. And the other will move on in the playoff stage with only seconds. four teams qualify for. Brutal tournament format, Cinderin. The best of the best yep. will be separated here. Who do you like? I'm, hey, thanks for the answer. Uh, no, I, I'm kind of in Insania's position where you're like looking at this and you're like, it's kind of hard to pick a straight up favorite because there's like, there's upsides and downsides to both strategies. I think the Storm last pick was very good coming in from Spirit to try to solve some of their problems, but OG's lineup looking very stable. This is going to turn into a big fight here. Tomato. Yep, Storm Hammers there, connects onto two. Bushwhack as well. Maposhka taking the brunt of the damage. Tomato trying to lead the way to get this first blood. Gets stuck in the tree line though, and he's going to one that falls instead as Mir will pick up the all that gold, all that precious, precious gold. Looked like Tomato's gonna be able to find it, but not sure the pathing. He's probably cursing the pathing right now. This is always an awkward spot to fight for the Dire. Like, you're, you're getting this flank angle, but if you don't kill the hero 100 to 0, they can just run slightly south into the trees and you lose track. And Spirit kind of came in with a bit of a pincer move from the right. So they do get first blood, but they have to, keep, to elaborate a little bit more on the lineups. You're looking at OG with a ton of chains done, with good scaling potential, with the Magnus in power as well, which isn't particularly primarily picked for casting on allies anymore. It, Magnus had his phase where he was truly an enabler, and now he feels more like he needs to do a lot of the stuff himself, but it still helps. It all adds up. On the side of Spirit, we have some very strong combo breaking. You've got ET Stomp, you've got the Onslaught coming in. So when OG do start going on targets, Spirit's lineup is very good at responding. Also, Rubik always been a master hero at counterplay. Yeah, so it's going to create a really interesting dynamic, right? Aurora having some impact on this tournament, Cinder. Starting to see some more ETs, not just on their side. I think Raposhka picked this really early on. Yeah, but it was all stage. Aurora. You're right. Absolutely. Group stage one, he really inspired Aurora to go zero and seven. Ocaster can never be incorrect, can they? Nope. Reflection coming out from Itora. This time, it will be a position one terribly that we are used to seeing. I'll give That's you the some... benefit of the doubt. I don't know who picked it first. Okay, okay. Definitely Aurora. Yeah. Yeah. Aurora did it. 100%. As we watch BZM and Laurel in the mid lane. So DK versus Storm. Once these two levels on Dragon's Blood are up, which is already the case, should be okay in that mid lane. And honestly, the the carry of the tournament is Sven. Yep. Easily. As Tomato will be taking the reins this time around. Toro taking heavy damage from Whisper in the meantime, but under the tower, the Pushka goes to finish off Ari. And the meta is still there. By some pressure to Whisper, but he gets the cleanup onto Maposhka. Now, Shockwave in addition. Reflection in two seconds as Whisper will continue to chase and think better of things. Close right there. Yeah, what are your thoughts on Magnus getting through the banning phase? It's a hero we feels like we have not seen in quite some time. There's been a lot of... Oh, okay. Oh, Lord. Wow. That was unexpected. Okay. I have to say, he has been getting picked off way more than we're used to seeing. Yeah. I would agree with that. This has not been his peak performance this tournament. And Whisper will secure the Lotus as a result. No pressure there. Spirit will have their hands on the primal beast this game collapse has been doing very well on this hero i would say 
You were about to talk about Magnus. I know you forgot. Right. So in this matchup between these two teams, you're not giving this to Spirit, right? And yeah, in addition to that, you have Seth in your team who's very knowledgeable about Mag. So I think he's very good at building a lineup that uses this hero. Um, He's very good understanding about the hero's shortcomings and strengths in lane. He knows what the hero wants to have in its team to really maximize the impact. And in, I think one of the big things for Mag is having just generally an ability to get cheap vision. And in this case, we've got the Hoodwink who can, you know, scout people from the trees and play, play sneaky wards when you're in key spots. You've got Dragon Knight who can frontline and give you information in the fight. It's all about just giving the Mag conditions to land a good RP or a skewer fishing to start the fight. So I think that is cleared. I think the laning stage is cleared too with the Hoodwink. This is a good lane, pretty stable. And then for me, the icing on the cake is when you also have cores that use Empower. Where I would say Sven is arguably one of the ones that use it the least. Oh, Skewer. Yep. He'll be looking on from above for a bit. Miposhka is yeah, that mid lane a ward. Is, uh... Was well, getting pretty hairy there for a moment for Laurel had to make the walk Don't back to base. Oh, wait, he doesn't even have a TP. He doesn't? If they could kill his courier here, that would have been oh. huge, but Ari is actually not going to scout for it, so okay. Miposhka will get it. We're talking about delivered. different heroes now, Cinder. We're on definitely the same page. Yeah, well, I talked about the skewer, and the skewer have been bought. <laughs> okay, moving on. When did you think Miposhka played mid? I'm just casting up what's the camera, Cinder. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'm casting off one on camera. <laughs> Do your job. Just watch, watch the, watch the TV. Okay, that's Denied. your job. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. You'll make it someday in this industry. My job is to tell you what you're missing. <laughs> oh, Yatoro is going to get skewered pretty far away from his tower. Even said coming to play. Not even oh, the hit is going to the good. beautiful um, echo stop on all three. Grenade. And Ari might die to the blood grenade. Indeed, he does. Meposhka eating the crap out of Seb now. One more right click will do it, but the splitter will slow him down. Shockwave to follow. Seb just waiting on the outskirts as the skewer is going to be there from Whisper. Meposhka echo stop. It is going to connect as he tries to make some space. Whisper pretty much out of mana. He's going around the other pathway, though, so he's not done with this chase. They have a ward to spot him out. Maposhka on the high ground. <laughs> Continuing to get gone on. Echo stop. Not going to hit this time. This is quite an annoying chase, though, for Whisper, I have to say. Skewer will hit. One more right click. Down he goes. Killing spree already for Whisper. A terrific start for him. That did take an annoyingly amount. That's not a word. Do your job. That took an annoying amount of time Leak. for him. <laughs> Having a stroke here. <laughs> the bushwhack not going to connect for Ari. That's a, a rare miss for him. Bottle refill coming in for Laurel. Miposhka doesn't want to give it back. He just wants to keep the bottle forever. All right, there we go. Understandable. He feels like the core now. He's done that. Absolute god spree. Look, look at this echo stop on that too. Laurel's gonna try to clean up Seb. He's pretty low on HP and mana though. Tries to zip away. Ari though, left on low HP thanks to Maposhka's right clicks and that leads to a double kill for the Storm. Now I'm not an expert on Dota, Shannon, but I think that was pretty bad from OG. I think that's a quite big loss, just giving two kills over to the mid Storm, who is now going to snowball heavily in this game. And in the meantime, Miposhka was involved as well. Level five and a half ET minute seven. He's owning. He is really, really up there. And this is going to be a fast earth splitter point. And he has some pretty good friends for it. He's got Pulverize, he's got the Storm Pull. Even maybe a Rubik combo if he steals the right spell. So Spirit looking very hot in this early game. And you, you do have a lineup that can thrive. Yeah, here we go. They, EZM. The Dragon has come out. Poshka with the Echo Stop to slow this down. Collapse coming in. Nice onslaught trample. They don't let him onto the high ground. Beautifully done. Collapse will net himself the kill. So 6-3 advantage here early on for Spirit. They had the advantage last game as well, but OG were able to come back. Yeah. Bit of a di uh, different dynamic this time around between the cores, though. This time Spirit with the Terrorblade against Radiant's Sven matchup and the... 
I feel like Storm has the potential to just absolutely obliterate this game if he gets if he stays yeah, ahead. Exactly. Once he gets BKB, he only worries about one singular hero, which is the mag. So as long as he sees him, he can kind of just kill supports every fight. Let's see if they get to that stage. Whisper will contest your Toro for some CS here. Be protecting himself. Radiance middle tower. Whisper. The one hero for OG that is absolutely dominating right now. Yeah. Top three in net worth, not too far away from the storm, but Spike big. dominating, he's the same net worth as a TB, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Collapse is the one that's kind of running away with it. 4,400 net worth already. Yep. His laning stage went really well, and obviously that mid kill certainly helped out. We're going for the blade mail first for him. Hmm. Illusion. Not sure what I think about that, actually. We've seen a lot of primals starting to rush BKB. Uh, the blade mail is obviously a great item against Lesh, but he's a support. Oh, acorn shot. Rip the bushwhack to follow, but the echo stop from a push and a double TP from Spirit. They're going to try to go on this. Whisper. Oh, electric Vortex is there. Skewer not going to be in time. Last right click from Laurel already on its way. Miposhka is playing so well this game. It's really... Like really he learned fun. a lot from Aurora. Yeah, he saw Ori play and he was like, <laughs> wow. I'm going to practice this for half a day and I'm going to be amazing. <laughs> Definitely his first time playing this. <laughs> Radiance middle tower has fallen. They're going to secure the tier one oh, mid. If they steal this too. Oh yeah, they do spot it. That's Storm not the most resources right now on Laurel, but... I think they can take it. Great supporting cast for it. So, yeah, this is uh, also a spot OG need to protect. You know, you're playing Sven, you want to have some stacks there, or either Sven or Mag can farm them. Just we're tired of Yotaro's shit here. Gonna clean up the mess. Kill Mira mid by the looks of it. So they finally find something to OG, but the map is not looking too healthy. They're down 2k despite being up a tower. So this is a big, big early net worth lead for the side of Spirit and a lot of potential to grab more around the map by picking up these towers. I think top tower should be relatively easy with any sort of kill from the storm on a core up there. You just grab that. Mata will go and protect oh the tower here. Yeah, God strength using that cleave to his advantage. Atoro at half HP. No thunder to work with as there's the RP from Whisper. Bushwhack will secure a thing. Here. Taro gets destroyed. And it's OG making the move. I was just talking about potentially for Radiant's Spirit. OG strike first with all these stuns. No Dyer's way to get off Sunder. Didn't even skill it, as a matter of fact. So, could not have saved himself. Tower is dead. Swift response from OG to a bit of a tough situation for a bit. Collapse will walk in. Collapse. Trample to start things out. Whisper. Oh my god, he gets pulled on the cliff. But doesn't matter. He ends up dying anyway. Oh, wow, they're Very good attempt. Again. And the pulverize to follow. Seb, it just looks exciting, all right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a, pretty impressive. It's the best play he has, so it is commendable. But unfortunately for him, both heroes with a mobility spell. <laughs> Could have cliffed someone else. Cliff at some other heroes next time, Whisper. Yeah, noob. Dyer's How about that? Tower is under attack. Oh, that's, I mean, it's pretty heads up to do it that fast, too. <laughs> yeah. Was Radiance top tower pretty damn nice, but... Yeah, so we didn't really get to finish off on Yotaro, or rather Collapse's Blade Mail. I wonder what the mindset is here. Sure, it's a, it's a Lash, but he's support. Against the cores, is it really good against Sven? Is it really good against Dragonite? I think not really, so... Upset. I, I wonder why he's... Wanted to go for this. He's gonna get Electric Vortex, though. BZM, yeah, dr uses his Dragon Form, but just trying to run away now. Now he's gonna give up that Dragon Form to the Rubik. Oh, wonder what Mira's gonna do with that. If he had his shard, he could <laughs> admin at 12, which you can't. Well, then he would have had fireball. That's right. That's a great comment. Thanks, Cinderin. It's a pretty... You said talk about what's on screen. Fireball was on screen. Oh, was it? Yes. Interesting. They selected Rubik, and he had fireball. But he can't use it because he doesn't have shard. That's great. Thanks, Cinderin. You're welcome. I mean, he doesn't have fireball. It's grayed out entirely, Radiant so... Are scanning. <sighs> It's, be a long it's a good attempt. That. Does pop the dragon for him, and now we'll steal Skewer. See if it tries to do any damage to the towers. I if he had Shard. <laughs> Shut up, Shard. Farm like no. <laughs> 2k lead for Spirit. Boy, it's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a really long week with you. Ugh. Collapse continuing to separate himself with.
Uh, his net worth lead, which is impressive in and of itself right now. Uh, I assume he will be going for the BKB next, surely. Yeah, looks to be the case. So oh, we'll see how the blade mail works out. Attack. Maybe expecting the fight Dyer's really early and I don't know. Attack. Only time will tell. Easy out. Yeah. Runs Radiant into Laurel. Link. Dragon Tail to follow. And the Bushwhack. But here comes Collapse to try to counteract. Whisper with the RP just on the storm. But if they can get this, it would be huge. But the Echo Stomp comes out. And now they've separated everybody. But a split earth hits two heroes from Seth. They still don't have enough damage, though. Whisper taken out by Maposhka. And now the rest of OG on the run. Seth will die on the stairs. Man, that was so close for OG. Great fight by both teams. When's the last time you've seen a skewering dragon? I hope we get a replay of that. Mira showed up in dragon form and he just <laughs> skewered the Magnus out of the play and stole RP in the meantime. Nice little Dyer's detail from Mira. Great play. And as you said, OG almost enough in the tank, but not quite. I mean, I, I feel like Primal Beast, this sounds weird to say because he's been picked a lot. I think he's underrated this tournament still. Huzzah! You're going to see the replay here. Here comes Mira. <laughs> <laughs> That's not confusing at all, of course. And he stole the RP as well and for good measure. Will clean up that kill, so. Yeah, I have to say it. Supports for Spirit have been balling out of control in this game. I'm curious if we, if I don't know if they're going to talk about this after the game, but my take on Primal is I'm not really seeing this hero particularly countered in the games that we cast. Right in this game, he got absolutely first pick. What is the counter hey, to Primal in the meta right now? Is I'm just wondering because some other teams have rated it as high as Spirit sometimes, but it's not been consistent. It's like a lot of focus on oh. Sven and stuff. Nice skill. Okay. <laughs> Mira, they're both trying to put each other on the cliff. Neither will be successful, but Laurel and company will surround Whisper. He stands still in defeat. The tips now come. Seth being pursued by Laurel. Collapse coming in with the onslaught and the blade mail to help finish the job. Laurel with the double kill. Some hilarious interactions Dyer's this game. Top tower is under attack. Everyone seems to be standing by a cliff at all times. <laughs> <laughs> This is Good quite stuff. the lead for Spirit. Collapse again, absolutely destroying on the Primal Beast. Zam trying to poke and prod at him. I was think... kind of thinking about it. He does a buyback nearby, uh, buyback backup. Wow, it's been a long week indeed. I don't think BZM wants a piece of that. <laughs> to be no. honest. Looks like Spirit will take the gate and Tier 1 tower still up on that top lane. Maybe trying to disrupt Dyer's someone's farming pattern up here, but we can attack. see on the minimap that no one is there for OG instead. A good amount of them are smoked Dyer's looking for tower has fallen. a straggling hero, Laurel. Might be a great pickup if they can get the connection. Dyer's Considering how many heroes OG have together, something needs to happen soon. You're just wasting a ton Radiant's of efficiency here. Yeah, they attack. have the double blink. All your heroes together for nothing, but yep. Yeah. Spirit seem to read it. They're gonna dodge this play entirely, and the only hero hitting creeps for the last minute for OG almost was Tomato. Man. Farming a little bit Dyer's of a side camp. They're gonna smoke again. Yeah, they're desperate. Look really, okay. really want to find something This here. smoke started, it was a 4K network deficit. Now it's six. Wait, was this the same smoke? I feel like it was uh, so long that I thought it was two back to back. That's been a long week, Cinderin. Oh, it really has. Not sure if you said that yet, but surely How did you point it out? That's a good point, Shannon. Thank you. It's been a long week. Spirit. Nice play from Spirit, though, to just dodge that entire yeah. right? I mean, good map read, not giving OG an inch or a centimeter, as it should be called, but unfortunately some sayings use the wrong system. <laughs> a little bit more efficient to say inch, I think. Yeah. Saint Kaya now for Laurel. Light collector for Lesh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Saint uh, Mira. Oh, gets a nice telekinesis off with the skewer to fall. It's gonna get shockwave. There's the RP. They really want to kill this Rubik. They're gonna get him. Laurel kind of wanted a piece of that. The sharpshooter does hit. That was a Jenkins voice crack right there. <laughs> He's away. He's FTP away. Collapse. He's gonna get shockwave. There's a cliff again. <laughs> Uh -oh. What will Not occur the here? They run far, far, far away. Echo stomp Dead. onto three oh, with no. the trample to follow. Dragon Tail gonna be dispelled basically by that BKB. And 
They're gonna be able to get that last right click onto Sam. Poshka left to his own devices will likely fall to Tomato. And OG thinking about resetting, but a big zip from Laurel to focus now onto Tomato. He gets the Dragon Tail off, but the onslaught to come from Collapse. And a skewer coming out from Laurel. And the stun, they do kill off the Storm Spirit in the end, but it cost them Tomato. And now the trample to finish off Whisper. So in the end, it looks like Spirit will win this fight. But OG putting up quite a fight themselves. You almost forget there's a Terrorblade in the game. I feel like we've barely seen Yatoro on screen, but he shows up that time and gets a couple. This was a little bit messy. I was scared for OG when they went that deep and they got three men stomped and they charge up the Primal. I thought, okay, they're just gonna get absolutely obliterated. But actually they did a pretty good split. Find themselves an okay trade in that situation to keep this game competitive, but the Sven death is crippling. We've talked this to death at this point because we've seen so many Sven games, but this hero not good from behind, and if he's involved in fights and they fail, you miss that timing even further. Tomato third on net worth with 1,000 to go up to the top two. Now Collapse gonna find Seb in the tree line, and a tier one tower will go their way. Spirit powering up. Dyer's middle tower. 7k the lead. Imagine they would like to try to invade and play Dyer's this triangle now to flush out Tomato further. So speaking of Tomato, working on the EKB first and then Axe, this is a quite slow timing for him. Now if they scan out, so OG knows that this has come to... Wait, that was surely their scan, Tomato. Uh, Might be some trouble now, Fabolt's gonna be there. Onslaught on top into the Pulverize. I am 99% sure that was their scan. In fact, 100% now that I look at it. That is really strange, and the tier one tower is gonna fall in just like that 8K lead for Spirit. Yeah, this is starting to look real, real grim for the OG fans out there. Time for some of that magic, but I feel like magic is easier to pull off when you have gold. Yes, this is accurate. Sorry, gonna be spotted. Nice combination there from Spirit again. We'll take out the squirrel-like creature. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Or is it actually a squirrel? I don't remember. Um, that slacks on the lore for that one. We can ask either Gorg or Bulldog. He'll know. Okay. As we have an Earth Splitter come out onto BZM. Already super low as a result. Gets the Dragon Tail off of the Yules from Apochka. Should set up the kill, but Whisper comes with the RP, but it's too late to save BZM, but the Split Earth is there on top of Laurel, so they do get the collateral. But now Yatoro has come to play. No, he has the collapse. <laughs> Yatoro's in the river. It's been a long week since Nerd has Whisper. <laughs> Yatoro has come to play, just a little bit late to the party. Tomato still with that God Strength. They have this Fueler Whisper. Another shockwave to come, but he's just taken out by Yutoro. One more right click from here, should do the job with the telekinesis to set it up. Tomato on the run, the Warcry giving him the extra move speed and tankiness. Yutoro not gonna catch up. Tomato lives. The spell steal was unfortunately for Mira. That was empowered. It wasn't shockwave or skewer, either spell. Would have the kill. Oh. Reflect yeah, the ground, tries. and the ground reflects back at him. <laughs> it was indeed nothing. It's been a long week for them as well, I think. Man, these fights are chaotic. OG staying afloat, not really gaining, but also kind of holding their ground given the circumstances. I think quite impressive, honestly. They're, you can say a lot about OG, but they're eager to fight also when losing. And that's something we've been missing from some of the other teams, I think, is that they kind of just submit to being behind and never recover. Mm -hmm. I really like losing teams bringing the fight to come back because I think in this patch, if you just, that's not to say that it's never the right play to just chill and farm. Of course it is a lot of the time, but if that was what OG would resort to in this case, I feel like they're just gonna get killed all over the map by the Storm and the Primal, but they're taking a lot of initiative and playing tight together to match the aggression of Team Spirit. Collapse, looking for a target. Dyer's middle not trying to find the shopkeeper. Yeah, puts his name again, Squirt. Yep, that's what you think it is. It's Quirt and the other one starts with an S. God, Sithel. Oh, that was, oh, that was I actually fine. got it. Light collector for him post. <laughs> <laughs> Seb's in trouble. Yes, he is. As he will go to the grave and spirit. Okay, we can start talking about Roche probably. Oh, I thought you were gonna now. say light collector. <laughs> it was like, finally. 
Yeah, we could. I think I've heard the description of Light Collector a little bit too much this week. On I do want to give it a special shout out on oh, ET because I think that's the support in the game that is absolute best on in all of Dota. Like, 10% move speed and whether you get the mana or HP region, especially the mana region is nice, right? But just regeneration on this hero in general is great, but man, 10% move speed, 434 right now with Whoa. jewels, tranquils, and that. That's nice, double. This with happened in another game in this series as well, right? Was it game one that OG also grabbed a double from? It was one of them, Mira though. BZM will be spotted, trying to take out Mira on the way out, but it ain't happening. It's still worth the double wisdom rune, and Whisper will be skewering away, leaving his Dragon Knight all alone. Laurel now left with basically no mana, but Whisper will be forced to TP, no cancellation. Yeah, it's probably worth double wisdom. It's one of those that's tricky to call, right? Because on the first wisdom rune, you're quite confident. Okay, you lost the support, but you gained 560 experience because you got 280 on two heroes in your team. For this one, you lost a core 24 minutes into the game. He's obviously worth a lot of experience. Not as much as the rune, but the time he spends yeah, dead, the scared. gold in this game feels way more valuable than experience at this point, right? Like. You really need to keep building up this Dragon Knight. So. But your poor support, Cinderin. Yeah, I mean, both the supports finding level 12 For all you is know, nice. Seb ordered Dyer's that because he's the lowest level. Radiant he said, BZM. Get in there and die. Go and take the two wisdom runes that I definitely know are over there immediately. <laughs> yes, yes. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Now BZM showing up at the tier two tower now. As there might be a fight. The ward battle ensues. No wards on the cliff right now. Oh, they're actually gonna go for the Tormentor with Spirit so close. Very ballsy play as OG will get the boomerang for Ari. Can they find a fight while this god strength is up? Spirit. Kind of waiting for it. Oh, god strength is still there for Tomato. Nice, he says the right player name. That's right. All right, Yotaro's played Sven like only a hundred times this tournament, but you know. I feel like Tomato's played it about as much as he has. We haven't been casting as much as them as Collapse. Trying to find a connection here, but OG now on the run. Sharpshooter does hit, but yeah. I mean, the lead is not really increasing for Spirit. It's back to 7k. Oh. So OG definitely doing a pretty good job of maintaining this at the very least. But really the question is what happens with Roche? And when it comes to the Roche pit area, we talked about Elder Titan being probably the best hero in the entire game at like the Vision game. Along with Techies probably, who's not in this game, of course. Yep. But then when it comes to fighting in the pit, RP, absurdly good. <laughs> The Roche is now underway for Spirit. OG making their way over there. This could be a tournament-defining fight. As Tomato will get his Aghanim Scepter, so Superman online. Looks like they will not contest after all. Do they know what's happening? I guess this is deliberate. I feel like they know this is happening, and their, their play call is just... We don't have enough vision for, for this. Like, we could smoke over there, we can try to place wards, but Spirit will be too favored in this fight with their ET, with their primal. Dyer's top tower OG decide to wait. Is there any key item coming up soon? Tomato has finished his Ags and he's going to rebuild his Echo. Dyer are scared. By the looks of things. Gold for Lightfoot. Seb going for a Ghost Scepter to try to survive this TB. Doesn't have it yet. We'll die here. Lightning Storm taken. Oh, the Glimmer. Echo Stomp just finds him on the edge. And Mira will claim him. They go for that Tier 2 tower now. Dyer's top tower. But the feels good spell steal on Mira here with the Lightning Storm. He can now push out waves with that and Fate Bolt back to back to just Radiant's clear a whole wave and keep the farm attack. going. It's one of the things that Rubik does very well. It isn't really talked about so much. Some spell steals, you just become really farmed. Mm -hmm. You just 
keep ramping up it, on, in this map and in the state of the Radiance game where there's generally a lot of downtime for, for this, it's has been a good way for him to keep Dyer's up with. And that's also a part of the reason OG rate their hoodwink so high, aside from Ari being mechanically really skilled on the hero. What really enables them to pick it is the fact that it can find all this farm so it yeah. can keep being relevant. Because this hero falls off a cliff attack. if it doesn't farm. Dyer's top tower so. is under attack. That is definitely true, as Yotaro poking at the high ground. Fortification used by OG. Looking for a fishing here from Whisper. Yeah, he's gonna be... Oh, okay. Not gonna be there, in fact. Real fast there on the pike, Yotaro. That is, uh... He definitely had that cursor ready to go. You don't need to have the cursor anymore. Cursor ready to go. That's not what the hotkey is. Range Rex looks like it might just fall to the illusions, although the backdoor protection is there. Yeah. Eventually it will Dyer's fall. And it's Yotaro, nice dodge. Now focusing on the melee, Tomato and company looking to potentially go in here. Meta's about to end though, so Spirit. Likely just back away, but Whisper not okay with that. RPU's just on collapse, but probably worth it. 50 seconds on the deck for him. As Yotaro looking like he wants to fight. He has the Aegis, but again, no meta. And the ET ult and delays things here as now Spirit exit the fight. BZM blinking in. Hey, Yotaro. He has Manta for this. Okay. He uses it. They waited. And he's dead. Yeah, he was Life sorry. number one. Whisper does die on the backside, though. Echo stop going to be avoided by most people. Not Seb, though. He's too cool for that. BZM. Nice blink cancellation by Mira. Tomato. Oh. That's going to be the skewer used by the Rubik. It looks like a BZM stuck on the cliff, Arteezy style. Echo stop is there as well. Guitar with the reflection. If they wait long enough, this meta will be up <laughs> 30 seconds away. Arteezy style, the new burger from In N Out. They're testing it for now. Not bad from OG again. You know, they lost the range tracks, but that's it. That was an Aegis timing from Spirit that was meant to be really scary and kind of stay afloat once more. I was pointing out the Manta being rated for terribly there because it looked like Yotaro was going to try to Manta dodge the Dragon Tail, but OG just kept, they just stayed patient. They didn't even Dragon Tail him. They just found another point of entry so he didn't get the opportunity, but only the Aegis claimed they couldn't get him a second time. The opening kill was what made the whole difference. Finding collapse like that and getting him way out of position with the Magnus. Seems to be the way to go. I honestly think this is how they should approach most, if not all fights, is can we kill this Primal and take him out? It's either him or the Terror Blade that you want to try to open on. And you saw Spirit were thinking about going in even after the Primal was dead because they got a four-man stomp from Miposhka, but... Mm -hmm really fully in position on all their heroes and as you mentioned meta was down otherwise they might have just stood their ground and turned that fight around but lots of items coming in in the last 15 seconds or so so ags for bzm the black dragon online level 19 to go with it your targets his bkb and laurel i believe yeah just got his bkb so that's triple bkb for team spirit oh, laurel also has arcane this is a massive timing for them they find any sort of opportunity, he's going to be all over the place on the storm. The only thing that can lock him down in that BKB is RP, and that's hard to land on a storm with Arcane, who's just going to be zipping back and forth. I've been wanting this. Voting each other for now, both teams mostly smoked. Seth, Seth, again, the lone member not smoked, he might be the pickoff. It's off the glimmer, Gust is there, but here comes BZM with a counter initiation, and just onto the storm turret, he gets bursted! Laurel is dead! It cost them seven. His collapse gets off his pulverize onto the Tomato Sven. That's just through the BKB. They're trying to kite this Terrorblade now as the RP comes. Do they have the damage? Absolutely. OG punishing spirit here. Now Maposhka. Cliff won't save you. Four staffs to the low ground. He has a gem. They're trying to save the gem here. And yeah, another Yule Sakam. Tomato finds the connection he needs. Oh, they did. Did they pass it off? He gave it to Mira and oh, then wow. Mira blinked out. That's Clash. a high skill play right there. BZM getting gone on by Collapse. Doesn't have his Down blink up anytime soon. Cancellation continue to be there from BZM as Collapse gets off the onslaught. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Those 
absolutely pathetic creeps deny him? How is that? He's a fucking dinosaur, how? I mean, it's one thing against, how do you even come up with that in that situation? <laughs> that is absurd. What the fuck is, how much HP did he have? bottom tower is under attack. 34 HP? Good. Grief. Some of these players are just from another planet, man. Like, that's just ridiculous to get the idea to do that in that situation, then actually pull it off. What the Small hell, camp man? at 33 <laughs> minutes. And you're primal. <laughs> All right, well, that was, uh... OG. So they, they send Sep out there essentially as a, a decoy. Radiance yeah. Bottom and uh, tower is under attack. Spirit recognizes it's a decoy, so they don't fully commit, but then, wait, they're not counterplaying? So then they kind of go again, and then OG punish them. So really well done with Seb in the front. They find the Storm Spirit. That's exactly what they needed, is to find this Laurel Storm before he gets the BKB off. They do have a liner that can chain stun him until he dies. 100 to 0, no problem. And it's hard for Spirit Radiant to counterplay if he does get found. So Tomato was thinking about Revenant's Brooch, but changes it to Satanic, so more standard. Of course, Revenant's Brooch against the Terror Blade. We've seen that before. And his collapse will blink out before the Bushwhack comes. Very tense game. Again, if you're just joining us, winner of this will continue on the tournament. Loser is out, so an elimination game here at Dream League Season 22. Now, Smoke from Spirit. As Roche, we won't know for 20 seconds. But I'm sure a Roche off will Radiant ensue at scary. some point. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. It's funny how many games come down to like these Roche off situations where if it's like a really long Roche and you have a team that has a hero that can just split push like none other. Yeah. Like Terrorblade is a great example of this. He doesn't even have to be there either. And it's a pretty long one, so a little bit over two minutes Radiant's left. Top tower is under attack. As Tomato will claim Radiant's this top, top tier top one. Ooh, a backstab potential here from OG. And this time they find seven. He's actually all alone. This time not a bait. That was a great backstab from Spirit. What did I say? Backstab from OG? Radiant's it was 50-50. It's been a long week. But it wasn't. <laughs> It just doesn't stop being funny. They just use it as an excuse for anything. <laughs> I'm going to use that from now on, I think. <laughs> even on our first day of casting yeah, the next even. tournament. Oh, you just show up Monday morning for work. It's been a long week. <laughs> yeah. Radiance Middle Tower Very even attack. game, though. Yeah, OG are going to leave this area, which I think is a good call. You know, you lost Seb there. You're, you're out of information, really, about what's going on. But it will still Tomato feeling confident to push in this yeah. mid tier two. Good call. And he's going to. Okay, I was like, if he's actually going to even do one Radiant's single hit on this high ground, that's quite ballsy, because Spirit could have smoked again mm -hmm. and be backstabbing him when he shows in mid, but OG working under the assumption that Spirit are very much glued Radiant's to the top half of the map. I've attack. never seen so many arrows drawn by one team in a game at the same time. They're all drawing three different ways to the top left. They all want to go there together. It's like a pretty good idea, considering Roche, Roche will is be there. Night, twice the damage. But he's not home yet, and obviously OG don't know this, so they're kind of yeah. playing in the blind. And there's no scans either for either team. Yeah, so they hope that this Roche is not being done right now by Spirit. There's the smoke. Dragons, Dragons are coming. Not pop these smokes yet. All right, will it's break. Pops. Laurel in the tree line. I think they have an idea he might be here. He's going to be spotted. Laurel pops the BKB instantly, but the bushwhack from Ari gives him a good amount of distance. Laurel now oh. likely just have to zip away a bit, but now the BKB down is a pretty big deal. Looks like they smoke again as Roche about to spawn. Uh, OG gained some ground here. They also have the damage rune onto Tomato, so they really wanted that fight, but they didn't get it quite yet. Dragon form is about to expire. This is important. So it's Dragon Form down versus Storm BKB down. Yeah. Both very, very important abilities, and both teams are going to be well aware of it, too. Oh, Collapse backing away. Spirit will respect this for now. Are they actually con... No, I was like, are they conceding the area completely? No way. So stick around. Mato has to make that neutral item choice fast. Really thinking about it. ET, very useful here. Okay, uh, just puts it away. Hates the tier fours. Screw that. He saw his options. It's like too many decisions to make. <laughs> too complicated. 
So we'll keep the tier three, gives that extra little burst to his right clicks. And the Roche off ensues. More drawing, like let's go behind Roche. No one's ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> the question is how many smokes? <laughs> wow, innovative. How many smokes are left? I don't see any on in the inventories. I mean, it makes sense. They've been smoking. They've yeah. been chain smoking for five minutes. Yeah, they are very unhealthy. Oh, the scan came out temporarily. And again, just fighting in the Roche pit against something like this ET is just so hard. Laurel has a shield rune. Sample front lights a scout. Easy am. Dragon Tail to start things out, forces the BKB from collapse into the onslaught retreat. EZM, is he actually chasing? Fly anywhere he wants. As the Roche will finally take place, Tomato. God's strength is there, and Spirit are gonna try to counteract this. Will they find the right angle? Collapse again, onslaughting away. They know that God's strength has been used, so maybe they just wait this out along with the Dragon Form. Reflection onto BZM. A little taste of your own medicine. But back into the pit they go. Laurel, BKB popped. Whisper. It's gonna get lifted in mid pure. Taking a lot of damage here. Echo stop. RP is there from Whisper onto two. He's gonna die shortly after though. ET all doing a decent amount as Roche still quite healthy. Tomato. He's gonna have to try to BKB TP, but the pulverize is there, and it looks like Roche will be taken by spirit. The waiting game works out. Yeah, they just they waited so long and they were so patient and what a read that this was not going to be a Roche kill for OG as long as they played the perimeter like that. Really important detail there that Laurel has a shield rune. It gives him way more confidence to just jump in like that and he gets RP, but they can't kill him. Sven, first of all, OG are also very fragmented. I feel like this is a really good replay to watch about why this is so difficult and such a good play from Spirit too, because OG's hero placements in this situation, they're not tight. Like. With Spirit waiting this long, and OG trying to both scout the area and to Roche at the same time, they end up losing out. Now they're also going to lose a squirrel. It's a little bit of an... Well, remember you, Ari. And now they have a Dagon on Mira to be able to clean up at least one of these DK illusions that are so annoying and make it two. All right, so they have a way to deal with the Mantas, or the Manta from DK. All right, so Aegis on your Toro, Cheese on Collapse, and it's a little bit of breathing room now for Spirit. Seb showing in Dyer's his base. <laughs> collapse really wanting some of that. Ooh, that is a big item. So Aghanim Scepter for Laurel, Dyer's Electric Vortex, basically a black hole now. Yotaro's gonna lead the way. Meta not up for 30 seconds. I would assume OG gives at least this set up and they will do just that. Illusion will take care of it. Dyer's Spirit, soft fire. reset. The Dagons. Get them out. I mean, it's honestly the best option. It's funny because this was a meme when it was changed, right? When Dagon was like, it can one-shot Illusions, people were like, oh, wow, great, <laughs> you know? And now we're actually starting to see it, this item being used to kill off illusions. What's the Manta cooldown versus the Dagon cooldown? You have it every time. Every time? Yeah. That's pretty nice. Maybe Dagon level one is 27, and the Manta is 30. Whisper gets his shard. Has the Shadow Blade as well. Been seeing that a couple times in this turn. Maybe we've seen a couple Silver Edges. Oh, collapse. It's, it's Initiation. Big. Forces out the BKB from Tomato, the RP from Whisper to just use it defensively and try to run away, but there's the Electric Vortex finding the DK. BZM already at half HP. As Laurel basically out of mana, but Mira RP. gets the RP. Collapse finishes the job onto BZM. And now the Yules are gonna keep Whisper in play. We'll get off the skewer, but dies in the midst of things. As is actually going for the tier four towers. Double buyback now onto OG. And Spirit gonna back away a little bit. A little bit ambitious to go for those tier fours as BZM in that dragon form again. Collapse goes in yet again. Pulverized this time onto Seb. Itoro still with the Aegis intact. The meta getting quite low. It's Whisper with. Oh, he gets Thunder mid skewer and he's dead! 90 seconds of no madness now as Laurel getting quite low. Will 
one slip away to safety. Gatoro getting hounded in the meantime, but they're kind of ignoring him actually with this Aegis as BZM continuing to slow oppressively on the rest of the Spirit lineup. They get the Aegis. It's a buyback on a Rubik, but Poshka, his TP is canceled. Looks like BZM will take him out. And they get the split art onto Yatoro. And Collapse trying to do as much damage as he can to Mono. It's gonna get sharpshooted and stolen from Mira. Beautifully done, and now Spin is dead for 90. Stole no way to get back in again. This Rubik is stealing everything that he wants and using it against OG as they have all three cores dead. And that might do it. Spirit showing up big time in this series. They get the lift onto Seb, not gonna bother even trying to pursue as the tier fours are dead. Ancient exposed, collapsed with a victory trample. And Seb and Ari can only look on as the Ancient explodes. GG's for Spirit as OG are eliminated from the tournament and Spirit making them to the top four. Wow, what a finish. That was a, that was a great game, I have to say. Both teams, I think, played really, really well.